and welcome to Becky's Christmas Book Corner. It's December the 10th today, so we're looking behind door number 10. 10 needs two numbers, number one and number zero, next to each other. Let's draw our number one. We go up and down and straight across the bottom. Very good. Let's try once more. Up and down and straight across the bottom. And for zero, you go wee round in a circle. Once more, wee round in a circle. Number 10. Let's see what's inside. Today's story is Christmas Llama, written by Stephanie Moss. The llamas lived up high, where it was sunny all day long, but Lucy wasn't happy. She just felt something was wrong. She hated trekking up the hills out in the blazing sun. Their fancy clothes were itchy and she wasn't having fun. She dreamed of cosy scarves and playing in the snow all day. And what Lucy really wanted was to help poor Santa's sleigh. That job is just for reindeer, Lucy's llama friends all cried. But nothing changed her mind. It didn't matter how they tried. Then one night, just as Lucy was about to close her eyes, she wished upon a shining star that twinkled in the skies. I wish, whispered Lucy, that I could be a reindeer. And before she knew it, she saw Santa's sleigh appear. Ho, 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 cried Santa. Lucy, thank goodness you're here. My reindeer all have chicken pox and can't help me this year. Santa said the reindeer needed somewhere warm to rest. So he needed a replacement and that Lucy passed the test. You carry heavy loads, said Santa, up and down all day. I'll sprinkle you with magic dust and we'll be on our way. Lucy was amazed that all her dreams were coming true. Then Santa slipped her reins on and she knew just what to do. Lucy pulled the heavy sleigh around the world with ease. Its bells jingled around her as snowflakes danced on the breeze. The gifts were soon delivered. To the North Pole, Santa cried. They landed by the workshop and the elves were Lucy's guide. They went sledging in the snow. She wore cute Christmas pyjamas. They even found four Christmas socks made specially for llamas. Have this cocoa with marshmallows, they said. And this Christmas hat. They made snowmen. They had snowball fights. Hey, watch out, Lucy! Splat! Bye, Lucy! The elves all cried when it was time to leave. Please come back and visit if you're free next Christmas Eve. But when Santa took her home, can you guess what he saw there? The reindeer were all better and were lounging in deck chairs. It's time to go, said Santa, but one reindeer shook her head. The North Pole is so cold, she cried. We're staying here instead. Lucy smiled and said, I dreamed of leaving my home too. But after my adventure, I know just what will help you. 
Lucy helped them bring the best of both their worlds together. For Christmas is for everyone, no matter what the weather. From then on, Lucy Lama always spread her festive cheer. She had finally achieved her dream of being a reindeer. Oh, so happy for Lucy. She had that dream, didn't she, of being a reindeer. And she actually got to do it. How exciting to do the one thing that you've been dreaming about. I dream that one day I would be able to ride a motorbike. I'll have to learn how to do it first and take my test. But I dream of being able to do it. And I think one day I will. What are you dreaming of? Well, thank you for joining me for story time today. And don't forget to come back tomorrow to see what's behind door number 11. Bye bye.